What made you faces. into stand-up? Um, I, I just always assumed I would do it. Since you were yeah, a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always, like, my dad tells a story where when I came in the room, he was watching a Jerry Lewis movie, and, uh, and I walked in the room, and I was playing with my toys, and then I looked up, and I saw him being goofy and uh just being silly and i and i stopped and i looked at him and my dad like you know registered that i was watching him and i said and then i turned to my dad and i said hey dad um uh is that uh that man on tv is is this is that his job and he said what do you mean and i said like is his job to just make people laugh and my dad said yeah and i said huh and i said and he makes money and he makes money doing that and my dad said yeah as a matter of fact he makes a lot of money and then my dad said i went like this Huh. And he was like, that was the moment where he knew that I registered, like, oh, shit, like, you can do that? I wanted to do that. Because I was already, like, a cut-up, you know what I mean, even though I was a little kid. But, yeah, Jesus. I never imagined I wouldn't be a stand-up. <clears throat> There's a scene in Nutty Professor. Yeah. When was the last time you watched I mean, that? not, I mean, okay. so long ago. Next time you get a minute, there is one scene in Nutty Professor when he goes to the psycho psych psychologist's yeah. office, and he goes in. I don't remember. Oh my God, Lee! And he it's goes funny. in with a suit, like he's a fucking nutty right. guy. Right. The only yeah, thing yeah, I remember right. is the working out. Scene. Yeah, he's like, ah, mm -hmm. ah. but now he's like smooth, <laughs> good look, and he's got like yeah. a fucking tuxedo, yeah, he's yeah, smoking yeah. a cigarette, his nails are done, and he goes in to see this guy, and he goes, Doc, I got, I got a problem or something. I think I got two personalities, <laughs> and the guy, <laughs> the guy gives him something. The guy says something to him, or he goes, Doc, the last time somebody told me that they gave me a bill for forty two. Dollars, he goes. The guy goes, What'd you do? He goes, I gave it to the other guy and told him to split the bill 21 <laughs> for something stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I fucking died. That's the only part I like. Yeah, I'm a yeah, fucking yeah. nutty professor. I, I, I don't even know if I like that movie or not. It's probably so dated though now, right? My, you know what I wish they would fucking do and that, that they don't do anymore are the are, are like the naked gun or the airplane movies. Those movies to me, nothing funnier. And they don't do them anymore. They don't know how to well, do it. I, I know. They, they weren't they trying to for a while? With well, they, try, they They do, like, the version of it now is, like, what? Is, like, the is like the scary movies right. and shit. Which is just different. It's it's not even the same. And I... I but, like, the airplane movies and the and the, and the naked gun and the, that shit... I don't know. People... I feel like people think that's corny now, but fuck that. I love it. Even Cannonball Run. Oh yeah, the yeah, first yeah, one. yeah. The second one was corny, but the first one was good. Not they forgotten how to do that. We were watching Lenny Bruce yeah. before the show. Yeah. To stand up, you got a camera. I put it on yeah. you. You watch a fucking stand up. Yeah. What have they done to stand up now? Cut it all up. Twenty two fucking cameras. We put yeah. a camera on top. Yeah. To show the bald spot on you. Who yeah, gives yeah, yeah. a fuck? Just show me direct. Cut me up at the waist. You don't got to show them going yeah. like this. They can hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just. Not Move to mention the, the fucking cranes are so distracted when you're on stage. When you're on stage. They're so the distracting. You don't like rec you probably don't think about this at home, but like when you're on stage and there was there was an island on my last special where I was looking at it like where where I, I always looked this way and I didn't realize that I mean, you know, I've been doing the act for a year and a half, and I, I didn't realize that that was where the crane's going to be, and it's just so fucking distracting. It fucks you up sometimes. And for the audience too, because then like it, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a crane in the and audience. It's so bright or, yeah. too when you do a special. What'd you do yours? Your last one, Chicago. Where at the Zanies? Oh yeah, and the other one, Rosemont. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosemont. Yeah. I like Zanies Rosemont yeah. a lot. They have blue collar. Chicago's awesome. Yes, the, the one downtown I bomb. Really? I go down there just to eat a bag of dicks at Zanies <laughs> down there. They just stare at me. The one in the fucking suburbs, they bring knives to stab themselves to stop <laughs> laughing. You know, the one down there is like a fucking. I can't imagine you bombing. That's no, hilarious. it's a fucking nightmare. It's there's some clubs that. I yeah, it's weird, know. right? Like, maybe it's the room or some shit? There's some clubs that I think, at first, I used to go, you know what? It's me putting shit in my own head. Mm. It's me going, I don't like that room. There's some rooms that you just fucking die at that, that, the wall. Something is not. I still don't know. I still, I've done stand-up now. It'll be 11 years coming up. I still don't know sometimes. I, I don't know if it's, because who's that? The Seinfeld, that's like, it's never the room. It's, it's never the audience. It's always you. I just don't know if I believe that. I don't know if it, I don't know if I don't know if I believe that. Maybe it is true, but like maybe, maybe sometimes you bomb and you're like, I think it's the audience. I, I, how is it? Not me? How is it me at this point? I've done this for so long. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't. What do you feel? I don't know if it, uh, just for example with comedy movies, not even stand up. 
if you go to, on like an opening night, like I saw Borat right, opening right, weekend right. with a packed theater, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was dying. It's gonna loud. be bonkers. People yeah. were falling out of their seats. Right. You watch Borat at home, whatever. Well, it's not gonna be like that, and sure. it's not as funny. It's just so I don't know if maybe like some rooms, I don't know, maybe the 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 people in one area were bad, so then everyone around them in a, in a ten table radius gets weirded out, or right. or maybe there was a lot of traffic coming, and it's it's a weird. There's a lot of external things that because I've seen Joey do his act yeah, okay. hundreds of times yeah. and it it, cha- it changes, but I've seen it in succession. And there's different nights that go better than like we had a. I mean, you did a, you changed the set a little bit, but you you did the first show and the second show, and yeah. the second show for the a special for the special was a lot better than lot the first show. The first, yeah, the first huh. show was just a fucking nightmare. So it, it's a really first show. You put a lot of I, dude. I I had the first show on my last special it was a nightmare, dude. And I was like, "What?" I, I I literally afterwards was like, oh, "My career's over." I thought so too. <laughs> you, you, it's so dumb to think that, but like you do in that moment. I had the mic was cutting out and shit, and I was I was like, it was it was one of the first times where I was like, yelling at people, like in my career, where I was like, "What the fuck? Who who who, who's, who can I yell at for this?" Like I'm yelling and shit. Yeah, and uh, and then the second one went 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 well, and then. And then when I rewatched them, the first one, because the mic was cutting out, I had this energy where I was like, no motherfuckers, not today. And we used a lot of that shit because it, w- it was way better. Way better. You, you, it, it, so you never know, but yeah. And it's it was interesting. We had uh, one of our friends watch the, the, set, the set, and I think they said something to the effect of, and it might have even been the, the last one, where where the crowd isn't that as into it, mm-hmm. you... Like the way you told the jokes was a lot more like the way that you had prepared it. Yeah. And then sometimes when the audience is going crazy, maybe you ad lib a little bit more, so it's it's better in the room. But then totally, dude. That's that's a hundred percent true. Hundred percent true, dude. When you you see some of these guys that fucking murder at the comedy store, and then they have a special, and they're like, okay, this is my special. Here we go. That's a bad. That's a bad vibe, man. I have it. Really? Because here's the thing. You, here's the thing that you got to. I think like comedians have to realize is when you're doing when you're doing your special you're in the room and you're it, it you're, it's the energy of the room that's feeding to this moment but you have to remember that people are going to be watching this shit here they're going to be fucking there's close ups of your face so if you're amped up doing this shit it's not going to read at home you're going to look like a fucking asshole I, 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 I remember thinking that because of something I did because I've been acting, you know what I mean. I was I've been acting since I was sixteen, and I remember whenever I would do some shit and then see it, I would see it later on TV. I'd be like, "Oh, that's what that looks like." I moved my face too much. Do you know what I mean? And I'm very animated as it is on stage, so you know you are too. So you got to think about that shit, like about your face and like. I've seen people fuck up their specials because of that. Well, for my case, it was completely different. In my case, it was, it was I went in there thinking I was Seinfeld. I'm not Seinfeld, though. <laughs> I'm Joey Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you fucking doing Seinfeld? Who the fuck are you to go up there and do your jokes? Yeah, precisely. Right, right, know, right, right. I went up to a second sign. I go, that's it. Hmm. I went back there. I smoked a joint. <laughs> I even smoked a cigarette. I don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I smoked a Marlboro Light just to bring me back a little bit, and I changed it all up. This was the second show for your yeah, second show. I was focusing huh. on the words, not focusing on the. Yeah, it's like yeah, when yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop focusing on the fucking I words. I know. You know, uh, they always said that. Marlon Brando didn't know the words in The Godfather. Yeah. He didn't know his lines, huh. but he knew the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know the character, the words would come out. Yeah. I was going up there trying to be Seinfeld, trying to be fucking hmm. uh, monologist, trying right. to be uh, what's the guy that developed the uh, Sein- uh, Chappelle David. show? Oh, uh, Neil Brennan. I was trying to be yeah, Neil yeah, Brennan. Yeah. You know, I'm not Neil Brennan. Yeah. And then the second show, I was like, hold on, slow that down. This hmm. is who I am. Yeah. It was a complete different ball game. I swear, I swear. Even though they did use some stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. from the yeah, first yeah, yeah. show. Well, because you don't know you don't know how it comes across, but yeah, you, you get in your head and shit. It's, it's hard. When you're shooting a special, it's fucking hard because you're like, this is it. This is the fucking, this is fight night. This is what I've trained for. Do you know what I mean? And it's hard to, even though when you get on stage, you, you, you know, you hope to fall into that rhythm to where like, okay, I've been doing this for years, but it's it's still hard to, to not fucking think, okay, this is what it is. This is the moment. This is what the world is going to see. Potentially millions of people are going to see this. People that don't know who you are are going to see it and be like, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so. Delia, I had the weirdest thing happen to me during my special. What? Ready to run? Ready for this? Yeah. First special, I bomb. First taping. I go inside. 
I comb my hair, I smoke some pot, I get my head together. I come out, fucking first 20 minutes is gold. Mm. I'm home free. I'm nice, like, yeah. God, oh, that feels so out. good. Guess what happened? What? These two fucking jerk offs. No. Right in front of me started fighting. What? A girl and a boy. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Listen to and me. you did it at Zany, so it's intimate, so. He was like this at the thing. And he's hammered, and she's embarrassed as fuck. She's a sweetheart that brought yeah, yeah, a loser yeah. boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was probably <laughs> coming by herself. Right, right, right. And then on the way out here, I'll go see that loser with you. Right, right. And now he came and was, you know, he was saying shit. Dalia, I positioned my foot. I sweat in my mother's grave, bro. There was one point, like the 24 minute mark, that I, I watched the special and I could see it really? in my face. I even positioned my thing. And I was just gonna kick him in the face and end it. My I career it, was I gonna end. It. Yeah, I get it. Right there. So you saw it on stage? Oh, on stage, they're fighting. Oh no! And I'm on stage and I'm watching him. And I finally gave him like a look, and I went back, and I didn't want it to see on my face. Yeah. I was sweating bullets that my career was gonna come to a fucking end. <laughs> yeah. And I go, you know what? I'm gonna position my hip, and I'm gonna kick him yeah. right in the fucking face <laughs> once and for all. Yeah. But in the middle of the store, I go, Joy, get it together, focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I went How back crazy to is it. that? And you're telling jokes during all this. And I'm so telling insane. jokes during this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And then at the end, I was going to go out there and just choke him to death. And then the <laughs> staff came over to me, and they said they didn't know what to do. Yeah, they didn't I know. Right, he's right up front. What would happen if they approached him, and now we have a fucking argument, and now I'm on stage? So that's what happened. I was about to kick this fucking guy right in the fucking face. And then the guy over here said something to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. oh, no. I said, hey, bro. That could have gone either way. Yeah. And I just said, oof. <laughs> no, that was one of the worst nights of my fucking life that, that, that I wanted to kick him in the fucking head. I, I, I get like a lot of like, oh, did this shit drives me nuts. I get it at shows, but like when you're shooting a special, I get a lot of these, woo! And you're like, all right, I don't need this shit for, you're stepping on my punchlines with woos. Do you know what I mean? These chicks and and they think they're liking you, which they are. But it's like, ah, it's gonna be I on the. I used to fucking... have a girlfriend that was a wooer, and I couldn't bring her to the comedy. When people store. I go to put her woo, a are, woo, are you, are you out of your fucking mind? What are you doing? Laugh or don't laugh. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Don't laugh. You're gonna woo. What the fuck are you on? A woo! You know how fucking stupid you oh. gotta be to woo. You know how fucking stupid you gotta be to woo? You know how fucking stupid... I don't give a shit. I honestly don't give a shit if you're at a fucking Angels game. You're a fucking moron if you woo. I fucking hate it. It drives... I never <laughs> understood it. I never got it. So I never I never got the memo Have on the woo. you had whistlers at your shows? Like like the like the people can do... Like, I well, can't even do the it. Thing, yeah, the, that like... Or whatever the fuck. Right. But the thing about that is, at least that's only gonna be in the beginning. Okay. You know, nobody's, nobody's gonna do that shit. If you do that shit in the middle, of, I'll, I'll fucking walk out and strangle you. But if you, I get my openers to fucking do that shit. I get my opener to come on stage. I'll walk out and strangle you. But like, yeah, the woo thing happens like every fucking four minutes sometimes. Oh no, they just. I, I've noticed that on at, at some shows, like they have like a instead of a laugh, they have a go to either saying or noise or they clap real loud. It's really. It's odd. Did you see that? Have you seen that? The, this is this is great. Have you seen that Eddie Eddie Murphy's on stage? And it's like I don't know what it's from. It might it's an outtake. I don't think it was on any special, but where he's oh shit, doing, and then Charlie Murphy's some girl says something, and oh, Charlie yeah. Murphy says, "Shut up, bitch." <laughs> And you hear it, yes. and it sounds like Eddie Murphy because it's his brother. What is that from, dude? That shit killed me. I just saw it. That's like a month so ago. funny. Yeah, yeah it went, it went it viral up. like somebody last month, last month or something. God, that shit is so funny. 